What is going on, you sexy people out there? It's your boy, Brandon BK Kessler here. Uh, I just got my Mexican license, and that is, it's a little bit of stuff that you gotta do. So, first off, oddly enough, you have to have your blood work done. So you have to go to a, uh, like a blood testing agency. I don't know what they call that, I have no idea. But they have them here locally costs like a hundred pesos so that's like five dollars you got to find out your blood type I called my mom I called my dad they don't know they didn't know it turns out I am a positive so if I need blood then you guys are gonna know to give me some a positive blood next you're gonna need your curb and that's basically your resident card when you get here before you can get a license you have to become Mexican so I um, I am temporary Mexican, I guess you could say. I'm Mexican for four years. After four years, and then I can get that and I can become permanent after two years. So you're gonna need those two things. You're gonna need a bill, um, whether it's a phone bill, a water bill, you're gonna need something with your address on it. If you're renting from somebody and you don't have that, you're gonna have to get a friend to let you use his um, his water bill and then a picture of his ID okay so that can be an issue depending on how you're living um, things like that and the last thing <coughs> excuse me the last thing uh, I believe you're gonna need is your regular ID from the States as well as your uh, passport from the states as well so you're gonna need all those things and to make sure I'm not missing something for you guys um, but I believe that is it and you're gonna need copies of everything you're gonna go in it's gonna cost you 1200 pesos so that's gonna be like um, 60 bucks that's if you don't have somebody help you you can have somebody help you like if you don't speak Spanish and you just kind of want to make it a little bit easier, cost, it's going to cost you an extra, depending on the person. I've seen some for 1500 bucks. Um, I was having a problem with just some, um, I just kept having to run back and forth and it was just annoying the crap out of me. So I ended up just paying the gal an extra thousand pesos to just kind of push it through. So for me, that was fine. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, to get the license here, it's you don't even need a license in Mexico unless you want to register a car in Mexico. So I had bought uh, another car a while back, a Mexican car, and it was such a pain in the butt to get the license because at that time I wasn't Mexican. I didn't have anything, so I just put the car in my friend's name. Well, I don't want to have like 20 cars in my friend's name. So this time I went through, did all the proper paperwork, got my license, and um, yeah, now I'm legit, and now I can take and buy Mexican cars, put them in my name, and uh, be legit, all right? So if you wanna get your Mexican ID, that's it. Um, if you need the location or something like that, send me a message. Again, anything else you guys need in Cabo, send me a message, and I hope to uh, see you soon.